In this video, we'll look at shapefile support in Origin. Shapefiles contain data about geographic boundaries. They can be used to add map boundaries to Origin graphs. I've previously imported a NetCDF file containing historic precipitation data and created an image plot of the world. Origin ships with a few shapefiles built in. I'll use one to add boundaries to the image plot. I'll go to the Insert menu and choose World Map. We can see the boundaries added to the image plot. I'll customize them by selecting a boundary and using the mini toolbar. From the same data, I created a browser graph focused on the country of Brazil. I'd like to add the national boundaries, but Origin does not ship with a shapefile of Brazil, so I'll import one with the shapefile data. First, I'll create a new workbook. Then, from the data menu, I'll choose Connect to File, Shapefile. After selecting the shapefile, I'll accept the default import options and import the file. To add the national boundary to the browser graph, I'll select the Y column and from the mini toolbar, choose Copy for Plotting. I'll go to the browser graph and hit Control-V to paste the boundary data. As I did before, I use the mini toolbar to customize the boundaries. Now, let's look at using a shapefile to define an ROI on a matrix stack. Rather than importing another shapefile, I'll reuse the Brazil data I've previously imported. I'll right-click on the matrix stack and choose Create ROI from XY. For ROI coordinates, I'll select columns A and B from the shapefile worksheet. For ROI index, I'll select column C. I'll click OK to create the ROI. We can see the Brazil ROI on the matrix stack now. When I right-click on the ROI, I'm presented with a context menu. Create New creates a new matrix sheet from the ROI. Intensity Profile generates a 2D data set based on a statistical value for each matrix in the stack. To remove an ROI, right-click on the stack and choose Clear All ROIs. Thank you for watching.